Hey, I can only watch half your video. I gotta make a run. Somebody called me. I got some work to do. So, um, what's ticking me off about this is when you see these healthcare, um, you know, town hall meetings. Look at the people standing up and screaming. They're older people. Um, I'm not going to say what race they are. But when you look at all the videos, you see a group of people, a certain group of people standing up, arguing and yelling and screaming. And they're screaming for their lives. And what I get on the street from what I hear on people on the street is they're making it sound like as soon as there's a public option, every person from around the world who wants health care is going to come here and they won't be able to get it. I'm going to be honest. Like, the Mexicans going to come here and then we ain't going to be able to get health care. All our dollars is going to be spent to take care of these damn Mexicans. That's, that's what I hear from people on the street. There's a paranoia that white America is once again going to pay for another group of minorities to have benefits. See, black people is why there's Medi-Cal and WIC. That's for black folks. White people don't get Medi-Cal and WIC. It's just a reason for their taxpayer dollars to take care of black people. I'm telling you, this is what I'm. T this is how I was raised. This is how I've always heard it from white people. You guys are always on welfare. Like when you watch my videos, when you look at the comments on the bottom of my page, this guy's obviously on welfare. I got paintings hanging in my walls and shit. You don't get shit like that on welfare. I got cabinet over there. These. These expensive shits in the cabinet and, and expensive bottles of alcohol and shit. And everything that's done for society as a whole is done to benefit blacks and Mexicans. That is what I'm getting and hearing from people on the street. And I'm tired of that. I'm tired of people looking at people with color as if they're the burden. And once again... Um, I'm going to say this because I don't never hear this in your videos, j Ryder, and I understand and I know why. White people fail to realize that some of these benefits that people will actually get will actually benefit the white people. There's more poor white people than there are black people. So... Who's to say that this is for blacks and Mexicans and foreigners coming into our country? This is for everyone who can't afford to get their teeth fixed, to get to get inhalers that cost less than fifteen and twenty dollars. You can't afford the real one, so you got to go down to to the thrifty liquor store. Or whatever <laughs> thrifty liquor store, the thrifty, <laughs> the thrifty uh, pharmacy, and and get the primatine mist for fifteen dollars. This is for people whose babies are dying because they don't have twelve dollars for the primatine mist. This is for all Americans. That's what the public auction is. It, it's 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 not these big companies competing. When you go to the hospital, this hospital is like going to Safeway. This hospital over here is, is like going to to, uh, to um, Wrigley's or whatever, or whatever damn supermarket you got. Hospitals shouldn't be in the business of making money. They should be in the business of healing people. If money is the underlying bottom line and not care, and what is the whole purpose of healing people anyway? Why are these doctors taking oaths if the purpose is just to earn money for the hospital they work for? Not every doctor is house on TV. See, the average person can go have a heart attack and 
not have care and die if they're into saving lives then it's most likely the person to live but if the white person is mostly likely gonna have insurance and the black person don't have insurance or the Mexican person don't have insurance or maybe the white person don't even have insurance and there's another white person with insurance that's driving a BMW and the other guy's driving in a beat up Datsun he's blood squirting out of him and, and the white person with insurance just has insurance want to get their arm checked there's an illogical fact that the person with insurance is going to get taken care of. In some situations, a black person with insurance don't even get taken care of. So you have to look at all kinds of other things. It's just like the waitress. She less likely want to serve somebody black because she ain't going to get a tip. And it's come to that in the medical field. Let's not help these people of color because their insurance might not take care of everything. When I had insurance, the damn dentist wanted me to go get gold put in my mouth. That didn't have anything to do with the fucking toothache I had. Hey, man, you can get gold fillings put in there. Hey! Fuck, I want gold for. See what I'm saying? There's a certain irony. Um... I'm not getting off point, but what I'm trying to say is with a public option, these doctors and these pharmaceutical companies, what are they hustling for? What are they testing out on you? Their option will be, their option is to get people better. The more people we make wells, more people go come on our doors. It's the care. We have to be better doctors. We have to be better pharmacists. We just can't charge them an extra $50 because we'll put them in white bottles now instead of the little brown ones. You know, we're going to put a piece of paper with it now. That makes it better. We'll give them a piece of paper telling them this is your medicines. They have a lot of explaining to do now. There are going to be a lot of audits. They have to check and balanced. There's no more let's send this person oh you can't afford that operation well let's send you on your way. There's no more of that. There's going to be an accountability for all of this. The public option is needed because people in the public need the option to be able to pick and choose. That's the public option not okay we're the only person that can give you this service and your insurance is not going to cover it and we know you can't afford it, then fuck you, die. That's not their option anymore. So, as far as the death camps go, the death camps are already started. The death camps are, if you can't afford to get your teeth fixed, knowing that the plaque buildup can lead to a heart attack, that is the death option. The option for you to die is placed upon you because you can't afford to do something easy as get your teeth fixed. See what I'm saying? But you can go to another country and get them fixed and take a you know, chance of contamination or, you know, unsafe. Why do you think people leave the country to get health care that they should be able to get in America? Even people with insurance go overseas to get certain things done. Certain things that would make your life better just by getting people's teeth fixed. Find out why these people are obese. Find out why the lady can't eat. Find out why his cancer is this way or that way. See, when you can't afford nothing, you get what you can't afford, which is nothing. There's no competition for this to be cheaper. So that's why an x-ray for your arm costs $100 an x-ray and they have to take nine to find nothing. And there you have it. If there is no option, there will be no public option. And that is the option for those who are fooled into believing that they won't benefit from this. Your doctor will lower his price if he knows he has to be righteous. So... There you have it. You've been tubed. If you can afford.